Hello, Mario. AutoCAD Basic 11.6. Chamfering. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this instructional video on chamfering. Let's not muck, let's not muck around. Let's go over to AutoCAD and open the file that we need to be working on. So it's punchm.drawing. File, open, drawing. And there it is there under B for punch M. And there we have our nice little drawing right there. Open punch M from your practice. Start the chamfer command and select the distance option. So you can see that the chamfer command is not actually there. That's because it's under the fillet command. Chamfer. Okay, so now we want to select the distance option. So you can just push the down arrow and select distance, or you can select D for distance. Okay, set both chamfer distances to 3. So we're going to go 3, first chamfer distance, 3, second chamfer distance. All right, now select the two lines in the top left corner of the part to apply the chamfer top left there and there okay all well, that was done okay repeat the command to chamfer the bottom left so i just go right click repeat chamfer and there we go bottom left is done okay um all right set the chamfer command and select the distance option so let's go chamfer again uh, this time we'll just go D for distance on the keyboard and set the distances to 0 0.5, 0 0.5 for distance 1 and for distance 2. Okay, and that's done. Select the multiple option. I'm going to push the down arrow and push M for multiple. Okay, did all sorts of things there. Select the multiple option to make the command repeating. Chamfer both corners where the shaft changes size. So that's going to be there and there and there and there. All right. Okay. Set the chamfer command and select the angle option. So I'm just going to push spacebar there, which gets out of there. Right click. Chamfer down arrow and angle option okay so that's the angle option set the chamfer length on the first line to 19 chamfer length on the first line to 19 it's already set at that enter okay um, set the angle to 5 it's already set at 5 okay um, now set the angle to 5 apply the chamfer to the right end of the part selecting the top horizontal line first and then the second so that's that one there and that one there okay repeat for the bottom corner i think we've got to start the command again chamfer um down arrow d for distance um yep we'll keep the Oh, sorry. Escape. Um, chamfer. Okay. No. Start the chamfer. Come down. And we want to go A for angle. Uh, 19, of course. And 5. And then we select the first line there. And there. And that gives us a little thing on the punch like that okay and then it's the short vertical line repeat for the bottom now it says um i'm just going to push this gate there add vertical lines to indicate the inches of the three chamfers so i'm going to um turn on uh, the ortho mode which will give me a vertical line click for line there and boom that's that one done this one here um 
right click repeat line is that one there pretty sure that's that one there and then there's going to be one here on the um, oh, one two how many does it say add vertical lines to indicate the edges of the three chamfers one I've done that one one two I don't think the third one is sort of um, oh I haven't done it oh of course here it is there so um, repeat line I was looking at my own drawing there and there yeah okay just make sure that's 90 because a little bit of shenanigans going around there that all seems pretty good so there we have a little picture of a punch you should be as proud as punch of that one okay add vertical lines save and close the drawing file so save as i like to use and it's the punch m so we'll save that yes replace it yes and then we'll close it close okay and okay well there we go we're right back now and we've finished the chamfering drawing so going to be moving on to the next video we'll see you there Cheers. See you.